Most people do all they can to steer clear of bees. They are not often the target of thieves. I've been doing it for 15 years and never had a problem. Yet. Until now, beekeeper Mike Potts had 92 hives taken from his staging area next to an almond orchard just south of Yuba City. Thieves likely used the flatbed truck or trailer. Not only did Mike lose a quarter of his inventory, worth $18,000, even worse for a one-man operation, he won't be able to rent out those hives to growers who depend on bees to pollinate blossoms and produce a crop of almonds, prunes, cherries, and apples. About a $44,000 hit just for, just for income this year. Today, Mike was going through his hives looking for queens that can help repopulate new hives. Regenerating or creating a new hive is no simple task, and it can't be done this season. It takes pretty much all year to get to where it's at today. So, so the loss is for the, the year? It's pretty much for the year, yeah. Mike speculates that the culprits were incompetent beekeepers who couldn't keep their own hives disease-free. Their hives died from whatever diseases they had, and, and they're replenishing them, would be my guess. Mike's hives are so new that only some of them have the MP brand on them, and frames inside aren't typically marked. He's not hopeful that they will be recovered. Hold the guts out, uh, put them in their old boxes, and uh, burn the rest. Mike's other work areas have portable security cameras and GPS devices on his hives, but this yard did not. Mike hopes the public will keep an eye out for suspicious activity in the early morning hours. Legitimate beekeepers will often be noisy, using forklifts and lights when moving hives around, unlike thieves who were quietly in the dark. If you see something out there, you know, suspicious, call the sheriff. In Sutter County, Lonnie Wong, Fox 40 News.